Hey everyone, welcome back to Coinology. Today we actually have a special request from Mr. Chris Haloub. I hope I didn't butcher your name, man. But um, essentially, he wants to know how to, once he has his Bitmain Ant Miner L3, how to get paid out, how to uh, set up the pool, and how to go ahead and start getting paid out in Script and Dogecoin. So we're going to go over that today. Um, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you, you've you already bought your Antminer L3, you've gone ahead, you've put HiveOS software on your Antminer L3. Um, you can do this using a flash drive, um, you could do this using their website and installing the software manually. Sometimes there's some hiccups there and you have to use the, the um, SD drive. But we're going to assume that you've already done that. The first thing you're going to have to do is go ahead and find your ASIC on your network. The way that you're going to go ahead and do that is first go over to Fing. This is an app or website I like to use. You can use the website. I love the app um, for my phone. And basically what it's going to do is search your entire network. It's going to find all the ASICs or anything that's on your network. And it's going to show you what the IP address is. So once you have that IP address, you can... You can type that into any search URL, whether it be your cell phone or your um, or your desktop computer, as long as you are on the same Wi-Fi or the same connection as the Antminer, you will be able to access it. When you get to your Antminer, it's going to have a password. The password, if your Antminer has been reset, the default password is root. R-O-O-T, and as well as the username. So username and password are root. Uh, no capitals, nothing, just root. So once you are in the Hive on ASIC, what you're going to do is go ahead and go over to the Hive OS tab. We'll go back over to our Hive OS as well. And essentially what we're going to have to do is set up a new worker. So we're going to add a worker, so add worker. We're going to add a rig. We're going to connect an existing rig. And so now it's been added. So what we're going to do is go over to the settings. And right here, this number right here is your farm hash. Go ahead and copy it. Come back over to the Hive on ASIC. Remember, we went over to the Hive OS tab on the Antminer L3 interface or the GUI. And we're going to paste in that farm hash. Once you've done that, go ahead and apply it and it's going to restart. At that point, you'll be able to go back to Hive OS and you'll see your Antminer L3 is now listed. But obviously it's not going to be running, mining, all that kind of stuff. We need to set that up. So the next thing that we're going to do is, first of all, don't mind the fact that mine's already mining. I'm still going to show you how to do this. So now that this is set up, we're going to have to go over to F2 pool. We're going to set up an account there. And uh, once we've set up an account, I know some people don't like F2 pool. I personally have never had problems with it. It's very consistent with my script mining payouts. Um, once you set up your account, you can actually go into your account settings. And you can go into your payout settings. And you're going to go ahead and paste in your LTC address as well as your Doge address. Um, these can actually be from the same wallet, but make sure you're specifically using your LTC address and your Doge address. So once you have that set up, you can actually go back over to home, scroll down, and you will have your pool URLs. So we're going to go back to the Hive OS interface. We're going to build a flight sheet. And what the flight sheet's going to be is, if we edit it, let's see, we may actually have to make a new one. Yeah, we'll go ahead and set up a new one right now. Let's 
So what we're going to choose is going to be script mining. So you'll see, I believe it'll just say LTC. Probably missed it. There it is. LTC. So we've got our wallet and our wallet is going to be, uh, we got to set that up. Uh, so I've already set this up. Let's look at my wallets really quickly, just so you can get an idea. Yes. Okay. So with your LTC wallet, I'm sorry if I'm getting a little bit confusing. I'm trying to remember how to do this as I do it. Uh, so what your address is going to be on your LTC wallet is going to be your F2 pool login and then dot zero zero one. Now your name is going to be the um, is going to be that source. So uh, the pool URL. So here it is. So you're going to copy that. and you're gonna paste that here. Don't worry about this, this shouldn't say Coinbase, I just put a random source, that doesn't matter. But you gotta have your address and you gotta have this name in. So your username, dot zero zero one, and then your pool URL. So once you have, we'll just go back into my flight sheet. So the wallet that I chose was that LTC wallet that we set up. My coin is LTC, my pool is F2 pool, and it will actually list and, and make sure that we have the correct URLs in. And then there's nothing that you need to set up in here. So that's it. So once your wallet is set up, once the pool is in, you're ready to update, you'll go ahead and start mining. So everything essentially at that point go to F2 pool, you will be able to go ahead and look at your workers and verify after maybe about half an hour or so that we're actually mining. Uh, and then you will be paid out and um, it will go to the wallet that you chose that you put into F2 pool, comparably to GPU mining, um, where you just put the wallet into Hive OS and it goes there. It's not how it works with ASICs. Um, it actually goes to F2 pool and then F2 pool sends it to your wallet. Your Hive on ASIC, the, the Antminer L3 GUI and open up minor configuration. And I think it's actually advanced settings. What you're gonna do is you're gonna set all of your, um, all of your frequencies and all of your voltages Set them all to global. Use global, enable them all, and, and set them to use global. I'm gonna give you the best Antminer L3 setting that is out there right now. Um, I have it running a little bit on a lower uh, wattage right now, so don't mind that. Uh, the absolute best setting that you can put in for an Antminer L3 as far as efficiency and receiving the most hashes is gonna be, so it's going to be 381 for on the frequency, and it's gonna be 9.32 on the voltage. So the frequency is 381, and the voltage is on the lowest setting. The fan start level, it doesn't really matter. It's gonna even out eventually. Once you've got these settings in, go ahead and push save and apply. And what this is gonna do for you is on a 110 volt at the wall, you will be running at, uh, let's see here, you will be running 500 mega hash at 670 watts at the wall, which is really great considering the fact that if you, if you go ahead and run this, um, this stock amp miner, the lowest setting on the Hive OS, the 660 watt at 504, what you'll actually get is a machine that runs at 504 mega hash, but it's gonna use way more watts. It's gonna use closer to, let me check my math here. 
So it's going to use over 700 watts. So if you use these, if you go in and manually overclock, you'll get just about the same amount of hash for quite a, a bit less uh, electricity usage and it just overall will be better and more efficient. Now, something that you have to watch with these Antminer L3s is the temperature. You don't want them to go over 80, 80 um, degrees. So what I do is once I actually set this up and I go ahead and put save and apply, so it's gonna start running them, what you can do is watch your Antminer very carefully. Watch it warm up, watch it gets to the full hashes, and then you can adjust the fan. The reason why I have it set to three, 312 megahertz at 9.32 uh, volts is because I'm only running this thing at 536 watts. I have 408 mega hash, but the craziest thing is look at the fan speed. The fan speed is 11% and 46%. This thing is quiet. That's why I run it at 312 megahertz at 9.32 volts. Now, like we were saying, we have to set the fan. So when you come down to the general settings, you should see this down here. If you don't, click advanced settings and go back to general settings, scroll down, and you'll see these settings here. What I like to set mine up to is stop running when the PCB temperature is over 80 degrees Celsius. That's a good... Um, safety net for you because what it will do is at 80 degrees, once it hits 80 degrees, it will shut off, not causing any damage. You'll uh, Let me come right back to that. I don't really care about restarting when the hash rate is too low. I just select that off. I select the restart, the number of X exceeds threshold. This is basically errors. Uh, ASICs get errors from time to time. Just turn these off, otherwise it can cause some issues. And then I actually have aftermarket fans. So I disable this fan check. Don't mind this, it's, I'm not immersion cooling, but I have aftermarket fans. And they if you're having trouble with your amp miner where it, where it won't start, maybe there's an issue with the fans that you're using, enable this setting right here and it won't do a fan check anymore. Now back to the fan speed percentage. Whatever you set this number to, uh, times it by a hundred and that's going to be the, the fan speed of the back fan, the backside fan on the Antminer L3. So for instance, I've got this thing at 28%. You can look over at my, my L3 and you can see the back fan is at 27, 2,730 RPMs. Just like I said, 28%. So it's about 2,800 RPMs. Now, you can decide how much you want to run this. You might want to just go 100%, see what your, your amp miner does, and decrease from there. It's totally up to you. Just make sure when you do any kind of overclocks, watch your temperatures. And if there's a problem, just pull the plug on your amp miner. You don't need to like try to shut it down or whatever. Just pull the plug. Um, yeah, guys, I hope that this was really helpful for anybody who wants to go ahead and get paid out in LTC and Dogecoin. I know it's kind of confusing. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them below and I will do my best to answer them. But uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate the support and have a great night. Bye.